What's going on everybody, Lucas Decker here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Yo-Yo Factory Atom Smasher. We'll be covering this Yo-Yo's key features, putting it through numerous tests, and to wrap it up, I'll be giving you my personal thoughts on the Yo-Yo Factory Atom Smasher. With all that being said, we're not wasting any more time, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to kick this off by talking about the key features of the Atom Smasher. So this is a plastic yo-yo produced by Yo-Yo Factory. It has a polycarbonate body with a metal finger spin hub placed in the center. That metal hub is going to allow your finger to lock in and make for some pretty epic finger spins. This yo-yo has quite a unique shape. It seems to have characteristics of a V and H shape, and some of these rounded off edges here remind me of an organic shape just a little bit. Taking a look inside the cup of the yo-yo, we have this awesome step design leading to the center hub, and as you can see, we have the text engraved on the outer edge of the yo-yo. This yo-yo comes with the standard white yo-yo factory response pads, a center track bearing, and is complete with a metal bearing seat. So that about wraps it up for the build of the Atom Smasher. Now we'll compare it to a few other yo-yo factory models. Starting off with the Replay Pro. The size of the diameter on these two is extremely close. It looks like the Replay Pro has a beat by just a hair. The width is extremely close. In fact, I can't even tell which one is larger. And next we'll compare it to the yo-yo factory wedge. The diameter on these two is extremely close, and again, I can't even tell which one is larger. However, the wedge definitely has this yo-yo B in the department of width. And lastly, we'll compare it to the Yo-Yo Factory arrow. Also, keep in mind that this arrow has the full size bearing, not the half bearing. The diameter is extremely close. However, the arrows is larger by just a hair. However, the Atom Smasher definitely beats the arrow in terms of width. All right, guys, keeping it moving, we're gonna put the Yo-Yo Factory Atom Smasher through numerous tests. For the first test, speed. Alright, so the Atom Smasher took on those speed combos and handled those quick direction changes quite nicely. Now one thing I noticed is that if you have heavy layers of multiple string in the gap of the yo-yo, it is going to slow down at the spin of the yo-yo a little bit quicker than normal. But in all fairness, this is to be expected because the yo-yo is plastic and it's going to vibe a little bit. But with that being said, it'll definitely handle most speed combos. It just may have a little bit of trouble with speed combos that are significantly longer. But at the end of the day, the Atom Smasher passes the speed test. Moving on to the next test, we have Tech. I gotta say, this yo-yo allows for a really nice natural pace during tech combos. And like I mentioned in the speed test, just be careful when you're dealing with a lot of string layers. But other than that, tech feels great on this yo-yo. Totally passes the tech test. Next test, meta. All right, so the Atom Smasher took on those meta combos. While doing meta tricks, the yo-yo moved at a nice pace, not too fast not too slow. Rejections are also totally fine on this yo-yo. It passes the meta test. Now for the horizontal test. All right, so the Atom Smasher does have horizontal capabilities. It had a little bit of trouble staying on the x-axis. Now, of course, this yo-yo being a plastic, it is not optimal for horizontal play, but it is most certainly possible. As long as your horizontal combos aren't super long, it should be able to handle them. If you're a player who's good at horizontal tricks, this yo-yo should be able to handle what you throw at it, just as long as your combos are not too lengthy. So in the grand scheme of things, this yo-yo just barely passes the horizontal test, but if we're gonna give it that little bit of leeway, considering it's a plastic yo-yo, it totally passes. And wrapping up this segment with our final test, grinds and finger spins. All right, so for finger grinds, not the best. You know, it's plastic, it's not the smoothest surface, and it's a little bit vibey, but finger spins are awesome. You get that nice metal hub in the middle of the yo-yo, your finger just locks in, and it just sits there, and you can chill. Definitely a pass. All right, guys, now I'll be giving you my personal thoughts on the Yo-Yo Factory Atom Smasher. So the Atom Smasher has a pretty nice feel to it on the string, not too fast, not too slow. It's got a solid feel with a dash of floatiness in there. It's also got a really nice weight to it. It feels a little bit on the heavier side. I personally like plastic areas with a bit of weight to them because it gives the plastic a more powerful feel. I think the Atom Smasher has a lot of great features that we've seen on other plastic yo-yos, particularly the Wedge and the Replay Pro. It's got that nice powerful spin off the initial throw like the Replay Pro. 
It's also got that nice metal figure spin hub that we've seen on the wedge and some other Yo-Yo Factory plastics. I recommend the Yo-Yo Factory Ab Smasher to someone who wants a Yo-Yo that they can take with them anywhere with the luxury of not having to worry too much about hitting this Yo-Yo on the ground or other objects. Now I'm not saying this Yo-Yo is indestructible, nor should you do that intentionally, but this Yo-Yo does have a solid, durable feel to it. And in some cases, I might even recommend this to some new learners who want to get into unresponsive play. But of course, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of the Yo-Yo Factory Ab Smasher in the comments below. And that's going to put a wrap on today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know you enjoyed it. Guys, if you've been enjoying the videos and the channel, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It is truly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, guys, any further feedback, questions, or suggestions are more than welcome in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll be talking to you very soon.